Okay, so this is going to be a short video on how to install Monero GUI wallet running the local node on your Tails OS USB drive. First you want to open up your Tor browser, click the Tor check link, make sure the ending circuits are working. Head over to getmonero.org, go to the downloads page, then we're going to go to the GUI wallet to read through all the modes that they have here. We're going to scroll down. Look for the Linux 64-bit distribution. Download that. You can save it to the persistent folder, even though I don't do that here. And just scroll down further. Show hashes to verify. Click that. Roll down to the Linux 64-bit and copy that into a text file. It's going to take about two minutes to download the file with a decent connection. We can open a terminal. And type sha sum a 256 and the file name and get that hash and put it in that text file to compare it. So it all checks out, we can save that as Monero hash text file for reference later. Then we go back to the get Monero page, down to the importing the Monero blockchain, open the guide in a separate page and download the blockchain.raw file. It's about 55.2 gigabyte total at the time of this recording. Now on the importing blockchain, you're going to see there's a whole guide here, you can read through that. It's going to say something about unverified imports, which we won't touch on here. Uh, things to note are the location of the software, the blockchain, and its last command down here, which is going to put it all together. Now we can just uh, open and extract that since we verified it. Once it reads, we'll just extract it to the parent folder. Once that's done, we're going to go back into the extras folder and we need the Monero dash blockchain dash import option. So I'm going to show you a template. You can look down below in the description of this file. Here's a still shot of what it looked like after the import's completed. It could possibly take uh, somewhere between two and six days, from my experience. So after restarting your machine, you can go back into the Monero software folder, open up a terminal there, and what we're going to do is create a file so that we can start the Monero DM. Just going to change the preferences here to make it a little easier to see. We're just going to create a simple script and call it start Monero D.sh. What we're going to do is set the IP tables for the RPC server port and then we'll run the Monero D command. And then we'll just go ahead here and run the command. And then it'll begin. You can see the error warning for the rotating drive that'll be very slow, which it is. Now the daemon will start synchronizing with the network. 
Here, I'm going to speed it up just to show you that it did take a little while. Again, you'll get random errors. I think most of this stuff can be safely ignored. Now here you see we've uh, synchronized OK, and it synced a total of 3,036 blocks to 8.9 hours for an average of 0 0.094 blocks per second. That is slow. But now we're synchronized with the network, and it says here we start the narrow wallet CLI. We're going to run the GUI app image. Right click and run. Press start and I breathe hard when I push out these e cards. Two billions of retards. Till I recharge my resource, I fill up these D stores and leave them no recourse. Squad heavy, with a black in the back of a big black Chevy. And my squad in your face in the place of the plan by nice and Freddy. It's gonna ask us if you wanna use Tails Persistence. We'll get it okay. I left this real time to show you how long it took for this wall to open. Okay, so you see it says synchronized OK. Let me go ahead and copy my password out of the KeyPass database. Paste that in and open the wallet here. Uh, it took a little while for the wallet to open up, so I sped this up a little bit. And then it took another little while for it to actually recognize and start um, synchronizing, but you see it's trying to connect to the daemon. Again, I get there waiting for a game in the start. And you see that it says it's now connected. I'm just waiting to register the blocks and count up the block height. You know rappers like to rock chains, rock and rock block chains, knock them up the box. See the block height ending in 292. Everything looks good. Now we can close this wallet and we can keep the daemon running in the background. And since we did that, I think it's safe to go ahead and close this window. If we leave it open, it'll continue to synchronize. When we can reopen the wallet, it asks about Tails Persistence again, we can just hit OK, yes. Again, copy the password out of the keypass database, copy it into the narrow wallet and open it up. You see you might get an area here saying use custom settings, you just ignore that and wait for the game in the start. And once it starts, everything will load up, which is relatively quick. And again, everything's running in the background. And you can see we got a 
Let me block out here. That's basically it. I'll synchronize with the network. Ready to send and receive. Now you can see here I'm gonna, this is gonna rescale my balance. And I do have a test transaction that I sent. I'll just show you here, it's a very small amount of Monero that I'm holding in this wallet. Now we can uh, force stop the daemon, close it out, and just go over to system monitor and check and see that the Monero daemon has stopped. We have, don't have to worry about the database being corrupt and losing that or any issues. So, thanks for watching.